tech giant Apple is reportedly gearing up to offer a new trade-in program for its devices. The aim is to get more Americans to upgrade to the iPhone 5 and for more consumers in Asia to pick a used iPhone over an Android device. Our correspondent Karina Huber has the story from New York. Americans switch their phones more frequently than consumers in any other nation in the world. Before two years are up, they're on to the next device. We get basically really cheap phones because they're subsidized by the carriers. So most people are used to spending 200 bucks or so for a new phone every couple of years, uh, when in actuality those phones cost $600 or more. Um, else, elsewhere in the world, people have to pay the full price. The large inventory of used phones in the U.S. is getting refurbished and resold in emerging markets. Companies like Gazelle, which give you cash for your old phones, expects to ship its millionth device this year from the U.S. Half are sold to resellers based in Hong Kong. Mobile carriers are also getting into the game. As of May, AT&T is offering $200 for a used iPhone 4 or 4S. And now there are reports that Apple is set to jump onto the bandwagon by launching its own trade-in program in its stores. Experts say this will help Apple in the U.S. market at a time when interest in Apple products seems to be waning. This basically gives consumers an incentive to upgrade to the existing product, the iPhone 5. It also prompts people to kind of think about Apple, go to the Apple stores, buy more Apple products. That's what Apple wants, and especially with Samsung picking up the lead over the past couple of years in terms of smartphone sales, Apple needs to push new sales as much as possible. At the same time, the trade-in program could help grow the Apple brand outside the U.S., where Android-operated devices have the majority of the market share. With Apple hinting it could come out with more software offerings, experts say the company wants to get more devices into the hands of consumers in China and elsewhere, whether they be new or refurbished. In this global marketplace, one person's trash is another's treasure. What seems old and passe in the U.S. is in hot demand in the emerging markets. Apple's trade-in program could allow the company to capitalize on these two markets, keeping U.S. customers happy and creating new ones elsewhere. Sounds like a win-win situation. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.